G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. So we're on the outpost train that just, just had a few little wagons shoved on the front of it. And it's going for a grand loop through the base it seems. Yay for loops. Um, So, what's happened? Well, first off, if, if you haven't realised, this, this video is late getting out. Um, the main reason it's late getting out is... I'm halfway through moving. Um, the computer and everything is still actually set up the old house. And that's where my internet connection is currently still. Ah, uh, because I said to go to Outpost, that's why. Crap. Yeah, you're not going to fit now. Uh, train. And deletes the orders again. Out. Post. Circuit condition. Uh, Z. Circuit condition. Go. Okay. <clears throat> Take two. Anyway. So I'm halfway between houses. Literally. Um, the computer's here. The internet connection's here at the old house. And we're living at the new house. So it means at least for the moment videos are going to be a little bit all over the place um and there's not a lot i can do about that right this second um just due to life in general and the isp politely telling me that yes they can move the internet it will take between two and 30 days for somebody to literally flick a switch the cable and everything's all already at the uh, at the new house somebody's literally just gonna flick a flick a switch remotely that's, that's the best part. It has to be flicked remotely. Somebody doesn't even have to leave their chair. Um, and on top of that, uh, they also advised me that it could take 24 hours. Or less. Um, it could happen the same day. So, my ISP doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Um, obviously. And unfortunately... Unfortunately, do not give me crap bots. I'm, I'm trying to actually dump it. Uh, yes, they don't know what they're doing, um, which makes my life a little bit more difficult. And I actually want those, but I want to put you and you into store. Crap. Ha ha. And have you request construction reports? Okay, that'll work for the moment. Uh, no, I want want those in my inventory. So, um, yeah, that, that that that's where we stand at the moment. Um, and the base is in the mean. In the meantime, been running nonstop. Um. Because my attitude was, well, just because I'm not here does not mean the base can't run. Um, I'll just leave it running and, and leave it doing its thing and hopefully getting some mining productivity done um, in this little slow starter base. Uh, the catch is it completely ran out of copper again. Again, again. Again, 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 again. Um... Yeah, every new copper outpost I've put down has... That's a straight piece of track. Uh, every copper outpost I get a chance to put down um, seems to dis disappear between... Oh, that explains why it was a straight piece of track. Uh, seems to disappear between when I'm last at the PC and when I'm next at the PC. So, yeah. Um... And this is an absolute mess of train tracks. Bots, leave me alone. I actually want the construction robots. I just want to run down to this build. And I actually want to build this build. And just that build. Preferably. Because I've got speed modules. I really don't. I, I, I do not want speed modules put in these builds at this stage. 
I'd really like to bring out all the speed modules and dump them all at once. Okay. Uh, so put them back in my inventory. And speed modules. You do want speed modules, don't you? Yep. Because uh, this is the uh, mining drill assembly, which will absolutely chew through... Oh, wow, that chewed through speed modules in a hurry. Uh, absolutely chew through iron and, and, and gears. Uh, iron and gears. Iron and... Um... Iron and um, copper and gears, actually, no, iron. Iron and gears and green circuits. No copper. No copper yet. Okay. Um, so I want to attempt to calculate exactly how much iron this is going to use. So this is per minute. It's going to use a total of 3,000. And there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these things running. Now I do know for a fact that we I'm not meant to run them at full speed. But I don't remember how fast I am actually meant to run them. Uh, so Back to the Kirk McDonald calculator. Well, let's say we want blue science and we want 3200 science per minute. Uh, with 24 beacon coverage there. And. Okay. So the final maths is. This is the beauty of... This is the beauty and the insanity of these builds. So this thing by itself needs 22,000 iron per minute. And our iron builds to 24,000. So... Our... Oh, did all these get finished? That's iron into there. That's iron into there. That's copper into there. And into there. And a little bit into there. That's iron, that's copper, that's copper, and, and copper goes into that green circuit as well. Uh, that one, that one. So this needs its own dedicated iron build. An electric, uh, no, standard engines, which are here. Need how much iron? Because we've got about 2,000 left over. And that needs four. But it does need a good amount of steel. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's let's just start with what we can start with. So we want another iron build. We want train tracks, and we're pretty much agreed that we need a four spacing between these builds now. As we whoops, try to shove more more crap down here. So that's another iron build. That's his green circuits. I'm assuming that was green circuits for that. Oh no, we've got a green circuit going there. Okay, okay, I'm with it now. So that says 20k. Uh, and a green circuit build does 26k. So yeah, we've got 6,000 going into uh, mining drills. We're going to need another how many into... You guys don't need green circuits. It's the... Where is it? This one. This one needs the green circuits. So it needs another 1.5k. All the way over there. Alright, stuff this. Brain work. So we're going to pop a rover port in there to join these two networks, as always. And power to join these two networks. So we have iron. 
which just goes straight to oh, hell there. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of moving these builds after we work out where they're going to go roughly to try and get the train tracks worked out. Uh, so that's a, another iron build. Uh, plus it needs a gear build. Which does 9.7 thousand gears and we need 11 thousand. Oh, really? I don't have the gear build actually saved. Did I have a bot just go... Mm, okay. Uh, gear build. But there is room to expand this. Okay, so... Let's grab a gear build. Uh, 9.7... K gears... And we'll put that in there. And then we'll do the same train tracks. One, two, three, four. Uh, and I'll put that about there. Yeah, we can expand that a lot, actually. So. Put that where it belongs, in there. Uh, so that is a internal build, or an internal piece, I gather. I guess it's probably a better term. So I can put that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there. Back to the original build, and we can say that's 18 assembly machines. So let's get a max rate calculator. Now see this, this says at full speed, it's going to do 16,000 gears. But my marker on the map says it only does 9.7. It means we're not actually running these gear machines at full speed. Um, they're running at a lower speed. So let's get rid of that because we now know where the base is basically doing nothing. And I'm only at 35 UPS. There is a lot of wasted UPS in this base still. So we're doing 9.7 divided by 18 uh, assembly machines is 538 each. And then we added a... Two, four, six, eight. So eighteen. We took it up to twenty-six. Multiplied by twenty-six equals fourteen thousand. And we need eleven. So I went too far. Okay, so eighteen no. Nine thousand seven hundred divided by eighteen equals Multiplied by 20 is not quite enough. Divided by 20, multiplied by 22. 11.8, we need 11.4. Okay. So, I need to only increase this up to doing. Twenty assemblers worth. No, twenty-two assemblers worth. So that is twenty-two assemblers worth. Okay. Uh, we need a beacon because these need to be beaconed. Otherwise, they're not going to work terribly well. Uh, that goes to there. That goes to there. 
That goes to there. My bots are flying off and I'm not sure why. Oh, they found some cliffs that didn't didn't need to exist anymore. Alright, so then we need to take this side of the build and give it a nice symbol that we won't forget in a hurry. Uh, and I'll actually leave the beacons there. Okay, I won't leave the beacons there. We want to try and line this up roughly with the middle of the um, robo ports. No, that's the one I want. Uh, about there. And I want to do the same on the other side, just wipe everything. Uh, take that, line it up. Rotate it twice. And line the beacons up at the top. And paste it down. Done. Alright, so this is... There, that to there. Add a robot port. So again, it's joined into the massive bot network that is this whole mega base saga. Okay, so that then becomes gears. And that gear... Whole gear assembly. Literally... Uh, come on. Runs that one build. Okay. On to engines. Engine, engine number nine. Uh, engines needs 2.3k gears with a bit of iron bit of pipe and a bit of steel. Now, our steel builds to how much? Because I never marked them on the map. I think it's 1.6k. 2.6k. So one steel build will run our whole engine build by itself. Okay, so that's the next step. Go on back to there. Hover over something so we can see the silly little icons. Uh, go away. Go away. Actually, there's something else we should do. So, I've been tr pruning solar. Which is something I strongly recommend to everybody who ever builds solar. Once it's complete, did a, get a deconstruction planner and set it for... The important things, robo ports and radars. And that never got landfilled. Why? Do we not have landfill? It turns out we don't have landfill. Okay. We're just going to pretend that doesn't exist. Uh, that can go, that can go. That's all unpowered, so that can go. That can go. That can go. Um, yeah, get a deconstruction planner and filter it for your robo ports and your radars. And literally just, just do a swipe right across your whole solar and mark all that for deconstruction. And whilst we're at it, we'll do this edge. And you just got to keep working yourself what you know in one layer at a time. Start the outside and just work your way in back towards your loading and unloading station. Uh, I can do this side of the build. Whoops, zoomed out too far. Okay. Turns out it sticks out this way. So I should go do that one first. Then I have to do this one. Then I have to do this one. I have to do these one at a time to make sure they're pulled out correctly. Um, and yeah, because I my solar is set up with, with storage, everything will go into storage 
and deliver two radars, a couple of roboports. They'll go into storage and the train will pick them up and take them back to base. Same with all the these other um, these other chests and everything. I can actually deconstruct them at so, some stage and they'll go back to base. I do have landfill. Uh, no, I don't have a way of setting a filter inserter remotely to go into there. Or do I? Okay. Uh, filter inserter that way. You do landfill. We don't need that blueprint anymore. Copy that blueprint. Come up to here. Paste that in there. Deconstruct cliff. Nope. That didn't work. It went straight into the train. Uh, let's send you off to there. Uh, let's go with an accumulator one instead. Hopefully I can convince a bot to put it into storage and then another bot to pick it up and put it here. Hopefully. But I still have 10 bazillion build requests out there, so it's sort of inhibiting getting bots to do things in a timely fashion. All right, track, 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 track. Steel build right there. We didn't find cliffs to land on. Good. I just ran out of rubber ports. Uh, sure. Stand back inside rubber port range and say, yeah, 60 rubber ports. That's, that's a good start. So that's our steel build, which... After I go get rid of some cliffs. That's our steel build into that build. That does not fix the fundamental problem of iron for pipes and for gears. Because we are just making um, just making engines here. We're not making any any other materials. And actually, whilst I think about it, let's send... Where the hell is that train? That train. Back to base, please. And we want an inactivity counter of 20 seconds. Because I, I do want these modules to start being brought down, along with beacons. Want a lot more beacons, a lot more modules being brought down and actually dropped off. Um, yeah, I want them dropped off at um, this station and and start to get a lot more of this build fleshed out. You know, I just bought down 10,000 beacons and as you can see, if we, we hover over the network, they're all gone. The system just chewed them. Um, we need more more beacons brought down. We need more pipe brought down. Uh, more belt brought down. Um, there's lots of things that actually needs to be done. And I need to go on a serious um, outpost crisis. Whilst autosave does its thing. I'm not going to get these robots delivered. Ah, uh, okay, so if that was steel, we need... Oh, hang on, is that the robots? Inserter, 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 assembler, substation. I think that's a robot. Four of them, awesome. Now, the trick is to stay inside the network. So I don't lose network coverage, because I don't want the bots to turn around halfway here. Okay, so... Back to the build that's actually done. We need four and a half thousand pipes. Iron plate by four machines. Pipe by 72 machines. Oh, hang on. Oh, we've got... No, so we're actually making pipe here. One, two, three, four. So I actually don't need to make pipe. I just need to bring in four and a half thousand iron with two and a half thousand 
keys. Uh, okay, so we know... We do know... That this build puts out 24,000 iron. So a half this build does 12,000. And a half of this build does... We'll call it 5,000. So that would be well and truly overkill. What's the next thing down our build list? <gasps> Ooh, military. Which will just suck in gears and iron and steel and copper and coal and everything. Um, okay. I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Um... And we're going to have to work out some, some stuff. Well, I'm going to have to work out some stuff between episodes. Because this still needs an iron input and a gear input. This needs a green circuit, which we've got spare green circuits over here. We've got 20,000 left over. So I can just bring those across to electric engines. That's easy enough. Um, and for some reason, I built blue before I did purple. Maybe because there was some logic involved there. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, it was because we had leftover red circuits. Um, so building blue was logical. Although blue needs a lot of infrastructure. Um, the other one that's going to need a lot of infrastructure is military. Uh, military will need a lot of infrastructure. Red and green are dead easy. Military is a big one. Uh, and purple, eh. Um, it needs this build, plus it needs the electric furnace builds, um, which is not that big. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to apologize to you guys again. Sorry, it's a little bit late. On the good news, uh, on the upside, in 11 hours from when I finish recording this. So I'm not sure how long it takes to get it uploaded and actually released. Probably about an hour. Um, so in like 10 hours or so, you will find your normally scheduled Factorio from me, JD. Because um, I'm going to do another episode straight off the end of this one. And that'll be the one you'll be seeing later today. Um... Or later tonight. In 10 hours. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit crazy for the next week or so. Until internet's actually at the new house. Along with the computer being actually at new house. Again, I apologize. It is the ways of life. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And the next one. And thank you for putting up with me. And I will see you in the next one. Alright, thanks for watching.